everyone. I just wanted to show y'all something that, a mistake that I made um, while planting my seedlings for the spring. Excuse my light because it's, it's pretty early and the grow light hasn't come on yet. So I have, first of all, I did not learn which varieties you can, you have, you really need to direct sow and which varieties you can start as a seedling and transplant out into your garden. Secondly, um, I planted them with too many seeds in one spot. I would put a hole, put a few seeds in there, and my thinking was that they're not going to germinate. They're not going to all come up. Evidently, it doesn't matter how much you spend on a seed because I, this go around, bought the cheapest seeds, dollar store seeds, Walmart seeds, and um, it, to me it seems like they almost all sprouted. So I have jalapeno peppers. And you see how there's like two sprouts from each hole? That's because I <laughs> put two seeds in probably every hole. And then you have some sweet banana peppers and some bell peppers and then cucumbers. Um, Onions, which I think are one of the things I'm learning should be direct sown and not transplanted, which I guess makes sense because their fruit part or whatever is underground. I don't know. <clears throat> and then we have these are mis these are my mystery seedlings. We're gonna see if anybody can guess what they are. Because I only have two of them. Because after my husband cooked one time, <laughs> I found some seeds on the floor. I see this one didn't do very good in transplanting it and trying to separate it because these are cabbage. And I don't think they should be transplanted. But we are, I mean I did wait until I was getting their first leaves on there, their first real leaves. And um, anyways, <clears throat> distracted. <laughs> I, uh, he planted, I mean he cooked, and I found these seeds on the floor, on the ground, a couple of them, that's it. I mean he didn't, there weren't seeds everywhere, but I found them on the ground, so I had to cup some cups of dirt, and I just stuck them in there. So, I know what it is, but we're going to see if anybody can guess what it is, and I might do a little giveaway with that. And then, these are tomatoes. They're cherry tomatoes because we don't really eat a lot of tomatoes. In fact, I don't eat any tomatoes, but my husband will, and... Um, anyways, these are tomatoes and he'll eat the cherry tomatoes with salads and stuff and eventually I'll probably do some bigger tomatoes to make like his um, spaghetti sauces and marinara's or whatever. And then these are cucumbers separated from a grouping like this so we'll see if this works we'll see what survives and what doesn't I'm already thinking this poor little cabbage that I'll be starting over and this was lettuce this was a uh, romaine it was just the same thing only a few couple seeds in each um, hole but they didn't like I don't think they like my um, set up here and I think when they first started sprouting because that them and the cabbage sprouted first 
that the light I had at the time was too close to them and maybe they got too hot because they kind of just shriveled back. Anyways, um, but yeah, these are my little seedlings. So take a guess on these two about what you think they might be. I'm sorry about my lighting. I will get better lighting for the future, but I just wanted to let y'all know about a, some mistakes that I have made and, and you, you end up with when you only have a very limited space and lighting situation for growing things and then you grow like 20 of everything it, it makes so I hope you learned a little bit from my mistakes and that you can make some better choices when you're starting your seeds um, I hope everyone has a great day and uh,